my, uh, the perception I have of my responsibility and role is as follows. Recall that sort of the theme and organization of ICORI's this year is to have sessions and methodology and then application and then, well, it's methodology, technology, and application. Okay. And the keynotes have sort of followed that same pattern so far. So my slot fills into the application slot. Uh, the first keynote, Professor Cardosa, if you recall, talked a lot about advancing a particular methodology in optimization theory, uh, quadratic programming, as I recall. And then yesterday, Professor Awad really advanced a methodology, uh, although he may not necessarily call it that, known as knowledge management the evolution of decision analysis, capturing that in ways that can be uh, used in positive ways and not forgotten, which we humans have a tendency to do. So you have had some experience with a new methodology, technology, and so now what I would like to do is try to offer some thoughts on application. Now the focus of the application is to military supply chains, which many of you probably can relate to, if not directly within the military, certainly in the uh, corporate world. And most of you probably are more knowledgeable about the underlying theory behind supply chain, which is relatively new, than I am. I didn't even hear of the term until 10 years ago when I got slammed into this project. Okay, so I'll try to focus on applying operations research in all its dimensions, descriptive analytics, prescriptive analytics, predictive analytics, and then pull it all together in terms of applying it within a large-scale complex enterprise using management innovation. So that's the focus of my presentation, if that's okay. Now, the other speakers had a few charts and then spoke quite eloquently at length on each chart. I have a lot of charts. I don't speak eloquently, but I probably won't say a whole lot about each chart because all of you know about stochastic processes, right? And there's this thing in stochastic processes that describes them as follows. You can have a countably infinite number of states in a stochastic process, right, like a Markov chain. Well, think about that. How can